Hi, hello everybody, and welcome to another mod review. First one in a little while, I know, I apologize about that. But let's go ahead and get into it. Today we're going to be covering a mod called Runic Dungeons. Now this mod is a little bit crazy. Uh, it does not really add many craftable things, but it adds a lot of cool cool um exploration into the game so why don't we just go ahead and get right into it now i'm just gonna open up this uh, menu here because um like i said there's not really much to craft uh, as far as crafting goes you can make your basic belt uh, which is done like so and then you can also make your belt of flight which is made from an advanced belt base with two feathers on the side advanced belt base clearly a uh, little bit expensive with our nether star in there so it's not overpowered the flight now the flight is like creative flight you don't take damage when you fall or anything like that so um do with that what you please now uh it also adds just you can color the belts you see all these different colors unfortunately they don't have buckles right now but it's not a big deal um and then we have our our different amulets some amulets can only be found in these dungeons that i will be showing you here in a second uh and then some can also be crafted like water breathing in there and they're very expensive as you can tell now you may be thinking well how am i supposed to put on any of these belts or anything like that now if we go ahead and go into uh survival mode so let's go ahead and go into game mode s here um oop, my bad we'll go ahead and open this now you see this little circle this is called this is called the baubles mod uh this mod is used as an intended feature to add a menu of like um clothing options and things like that um it's it's made as a base mod so that other mods can can use it basically it's it's an interface and so let's go ahead and click that and now you can see that i have room for an amulet uh two open spaces and then a room for a belt clearly so let's go ahead and put that belt on you can't see it on us but that's all right and then we also have our amulet now you'll see we have an effect on us now we have water breathing because of that amulet when we open up the bubbles you can see that um, amulet of the ocean has given us water breathing and then as well as you can tell we're still in survival i can double tap space and we are flying and i can let go of space and we fall to the ground without taking damage uh like i said it is expensive though so so it shouldn't be too overpowered now let's go ahead and get back into uh creative mode here uh and then we'll show off the next bit now what we need for the next bit i apologize but what we need for the next bit is our magical chalk i'll come on over here and show you guys that now magical chalk can only be found in dungeons and things like that so they have to be in naturally spawned chests and it's a it's a rare drop clearly now uh, you can find them in jungle temples desert ruins all that kind of stuff now what you need is you need to get your magic chalk and you need to get a chiseled stone brick or, or a set of chiseled stone bricks uh, usually jungle temples probably your best bet i think they became craftable in 1.8 unfortunately this mod is 1.7.10 so you actually i think have to find this uh this chiseled as well but let's go ahead and right click this now this will create our altar now the altar is very easy to use all you do is stand in it anywhere on this area and then right click now it's going to go ahead and generate the world this takes a little bit of time to do so i may end up cutting uh last time i tried to load this world it actually gave me an error i had to back out of the world and then go back in and then everything was downloaded correctly so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and wait this out and i will um i will get back to you guys when we are all good and loaded in okay and here we are it took about uh i'd say close to a minute to get us into this other world so uh yeah that is something that you need to keep in mind but let's go ahead and look at what we just got which is a purple achievement uh downloading statistics and achievements i apologize give me a second Actually, you know what? I don't think uh, our achievements will load with, with this world kind of looking like this. Uh, I'm not sure if you're meant to die and then respawn instantly inside the dungeon or something like that. But like I said, all we need to do is save and quit to the title and then uh, load back in. Or this That's at least the circumstance that uh, happened last time. Uh, and then we will go ahead and get back into it here in a second. All right, and there we go. We're back at the title screen. It takes a little while to close that internal server as well, I guess. But let's go ahead and open that world right back up. And boom, look, we are in the dungeon. As you can tell, uh, it's very dark in here. So why don't I go ahead and grab us some uh, torches here, just so you guys can see exactly what's going on in these dungeons. Now, you start off originally with a single key, and you are given an option for four doors, as I have just shown off. One, two, three, and four. Now, you can pick what direction you want to go. Now, there are randomly spawning rooms. I'll go ahead and show you one of them. We'll pick this door. Uh, see, and it eliminates these. Now, these are un unbreakable if you're obviously not in creative. Um, and the key to progress, there we go. We got another achievement, so let's go ahead and look at them now that we can. And you can see that 
taking inventory off we go is right here create a work runic dungeons portal and our use the dungeon key so now we have a maze room now this is a uh, books bookshelves which can be cut down i believe um so it's a good resource for books if you're looking for books let's go ahead and look take a look around now i should mention that in this mod pack or what i use to showcase my mods i have extra utilities in here as well so if you see something that you don't really recognize in one of these chests it's probably out of extra utilities um because there this like i said this mod really doesn't add many um many new items besides those amulets and those belts so let's go ahead and keep looking around because um there needs to be another chest in here hopefully with a key in it i think we went in a circle no we didn't because this is a new chest uh ooh, three diamonds and a, and an iron sword that is very awesome now i think if i'm not mistaken i am playing on peaceful uh normally obviously there are mobs spawning in here you can hear them uh doing that right now so we're gonna just keep going through we're gonna we, we found this chest already correct yes um yeah and I, we're gonna go ahead and find another chest like this one holy crap look at the awesome loot i mean this place is absolutely amazing but because it is a dungeon uh you can get lost very easily as well let's go ahead and take this uh dungeon key we'll leave all this other stuff here and then you basically you're going to want to come around and you're going to want to try to find a your way back you're going to want to know where where you're going and there are three uh three ways to get around one uh, in this room it looks just like this room but obviously has a maze in it so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to open up another door here we have another um we have another library, so let me go ahead and find the key, and I'll be right back with you guys to uh, f look at the other rooms. Okay, so I thought I'd be smart and uh, just break down all of this, but it turns out it looks like there's a second floor to all of this. Now, I don't know if they keep... They do. They keep chests up in the second floor, too. That's good to know. Uh, so remember that when you're coming through the dungeons. As well as I should probably say that, yes, I could just break through all of them and show you guys all of them. But I kind of want it to be like a, a, a scavenger hunt. I mean, it's a lot cooler to uh, give, give these rooms props... Uh, because they were coded very specifically in order to be able to find things as I fly through and kind of cheat a little bit. No problem. Okay, well, there's a dropper up in the ceiling with the dungeon key. Now, that's not accessible from the bottom, from below. That's very interesting. Okay, and now I think I hear mobs over here. Oh, and there's another one of these rooms. Oh, we have a key right here. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up this door. Now, this door, this room obviously sounded a little bit more mean. Uh, clearly, clearly is supposed to be a hard room to fight in. Uh, you can tell that there's a lot of skeletons with a lot of perks to them. Uh, let's go ahead and break these spawners and open up the chest and check out what we have in here. Uh, the loot is absolutely spectacular, as you can tell. But it would be because this is very hard to fight. Now, you gotta remember, like, you can only do so much with so much uh, horse armor and things like that. Um... So, like, the, the most valuable things are, like, the iron ingots and all that kind of stuff because it, it'd, be like, it'd be like going mining in there. See, now we've completed a circle. Uh, if you don't know, this is where we started, clearly. Uh, and then this is where we went through here, came through here, you see, and we came around in a complete circle. Uh, now, there are other rooms. I don't want to go ahead and spoil them for you guys, but I promise they are pretty cool. There's also a key up there, apparently. I never knew that. Um, they are pretty cool. I'm just going to go ahead and try to find our way through this dungeon a little bit i don't really want to give too many spoilers but the final room or what should be the final room is let's see they're like this that's part of uh extra utilities i apologize about that uh ooh, two dungeon keys Ooh, we can just skip the next room if we wanted to uh okay okay uh, and then yeah this is a different kind of spawner room clearly uh you'll run into uh these as well now they have spawners on the inside and then one has a chest all the time i believe uh, and i think those are actually supposed to have keys in them or, or usually nope the dropper there has the key um but yeah and so there's obviously a bunch of rooms like this it, it spawns a bunch of entities we'll just go ahead and keep breaking through uh, i don't know how easy it'll be to find what i'm looking for it probably won't be able to be found um but what i what i am looking for is i'll go ahead and explain it to you guys uh, I, we need some more torches in here so that you guys can see actually what I'm doing because I'm kind of just running around aimlessly in the dark right now. Um, we are looking for the boss room. Now, the boss room is a little bit more complicated. Um, it is the wither boss. Now, the wither boss is already all set up. All you need to do, I believe, is add one final piece to the skulls. There it is. Look at that. Uh, I think you remove a skull and then you add a skull and then you get the wither boss. So let's go ahead and do that. And boom, you get the Wither Boss, and then he comes in and he blows everything up. You better remember how you got back home, too. 
um, because that, that might be a little bit hard to figure out. But yeah, so basically what you can do is you can fight the wither here instead of having to um, to go see how he didn't blow up anything that's because the walls are indestructible. Uh, remember, shh, shh, you're being too loud, shh, quiet. <laughs> I punched him. Anyway, uh, so, so, um, yeah, you can fight him. Remember, you can get this Wither Star for that, for that sweet belt, that advanced belt, so you can fly in the game. Uh, this is, I, I, this is why I like this mod. It's, uh, it's an alternative to the Wither instead of having to go to the Nether and, uh, absolutely get, um, get demolished by having to kill a certain amount of skeletons and, and get lucky on a random drop. Instead, you can, you can get a lot of loot out of here and clearly, clearly, um, to find the Wither and uh, yeah, and be successful in the game. I, I really like this mod. If you guys uh, want to check it out, there will be a link down below as well to the baubles, which is the thing that, remember, adds uh, our little menu that will allow us to add our belt or our amulet. Um, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Uh, tell your friends about me, uh, you know, all that good stuff. If, 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 if you like the channel, I mean, um, you definitely give uh, if you all the support you guys gave is absolutely spectacular already i love the comments i love i love the likes i love i, I even like the dislikes i like to know what you guys don't like in a video um and and it, yeah it just helps me uh cr grow as a as a video maker and uh, i want to thank you guys that so much uh remember i do have a live stream you guys if you guys want to check that out is would be absolutely awesome uh twitch.tv slash um yeah and have a great day everybody